entertain me here. Imagine that you are a seller. You are two weeks away from closing on your home. And then you find out that you owe the lender $40,000 more than you thought you did. Say what? If you've had a loan modification and you're ready to sell your home, stay tuned. That's what we're going to be talking about next. Hi, I'm Natasha Bazil with soulbynat.com real estate services, where I help people improve their lives and build wealth by owning real estate. I do that by enlightening, educating, and guiding them through the buying and selling processes. So what is a loan modification? Basically, a loan modification is you asking the lender to modify the original terms of your loan. Why do people do this? The most common reason is they want their, their payment lowered. Um, and there are a few different loan modification options. Um, you have a capitalization of arrears, you have a rate reduction, you have a term extension, um, and then you have principal forbearance. And principal forbearance is what happened in this case. This actually happened. Matter of fact, this happened not only once, this has happened twice to me once the end of last year and then a month or so ago um, so the one at the end of last year we're talking about sixty thousand dollars difference and then the one this year was forty thousand dollars difference so i'm making this video because not everybody knows that this is becoming more of an issue and the reason why it's becoming more of an issue is because a lot of people did loan modifications when the market crashed back in 2008. So let's say they did their loan modification in 2010, 2013, and now they're ready to sell their house. Pretty much long story short, the one that happened to me recently, I was representing the buyer, okay? So I get a call, we're like two weeks out from closing from the seller's agent telling me this awful news that pretty much the closing attorney got the payoff and the seller is on the hook for about $40,000 more um, than they expected. I mean, this $40,000, like they were expecting on getting a check back for about 30 something and change. So it's not even like it's eating up all of it. Like they are over, you know, what they needed to close on this house. So pretty much they need to bring money to the table to be able to close in this house. This was just a nightmare. <laughs> One, because my buyer was relocating um, from another state, okay? So this was already a big move. Everything had been set in motion. She had already given her notice that she was going to, you know, not renew her lease. So she has to move. And now we find out this. What happened here? Okay, so the sellers at one point got a loan modification. They did not realize or understand or remember that part of their loan modification, a portion of it was going to have to be paid back when they sold the house. And that's pretty much what happened. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, how does someone not remember this major, you know, lump sum or this major change to their, to their loan? And I'm going to tell you when somebody is going through a hardship, they, their focus is getting out of that hardship. So if they are looking to get their payment lower, maybe they're paying $1,800 a month and they are trying to get it down to 14 they are just happy that their payment got down to 14 um you know hundred dollars a month do they read all the fine print when you're in a, a state of hardship and you're looking at just just give me a solution sometimes that doesn't happen uh, you know i was one i can speak for myself even not being in a hardship just when i first bought my um first bought my first home this is before i became a realtor I did not do my due diligence. I did not educate myself beforehand. I did not read all the paperwork. I was just so happy I was getting a house and I signed. So I get it, all right? But like I said in the beginning, I've run into this 
two times. Um, the first time is uh, the person just would, you know, log into their account, make their payment. A lot of people do not review their statements or get statements in the mail anymore. So let that be a tip to you periodically go in and look at your statement, okay? So this person would look, looked online, did just saw the amount that they owed and that's what they went with and, you know, to pay back. But in actuality, there was another portion that appeared as non-interest bearing somewhere on the statement that you would need to work for the lender or be a rocket science to know, oh yeah, let me add these two together to know um, how much I owe. Really, the average person is not going to know to do this, okay? So that came as a big shock. So it was on the statement, and when we went and dug a paperwork of the loan modification, it sure was in there, plain as day, okay? The second time and most recent time, speaking to the agent, she said she looked at that statement. She went over that statement with her clients, and it was not on there. So it just depends on the lender. So the solution here is... When, if you've done a loan modification, when you get ready to sell your house before you list it, ideally before you contact your agent, go ahead and request a, a loan payoff from your lender. Um, they are, they're probably, they're most likely going to charge you about $25, 50 just depends, um, to get your loan payoff. But I'd rather pay that $25, 50 how much ever, however much it's going to cost now then wait till we get to the end and have everything just pretty much go up in flames okay so i would go ahead and request that loan payoff in doing my research uh i found that someone else said that they requested the loan payoff and it still wasn't even on there so i don't know about that one so that's step one i would say get a loan payoff before you list and then step two I would ask your agent or advise your agent, yes, I've done a loan modification. Please request that the closing attorney request their payoff up front, you know, as early as possible. Don't wait three, four weeks and then request this payoff. Request it up front so we know what we're dealing with up front. In closing, I hope this information was helpful to you. If you have questions or you are looking to sell your home, whether you've had a modification or not, um, or looking to buy a home, I would love to help you, love to chat with you. I am in the Gwinnett, Georgia area, and I mostly specialize in the Gwinnett, Georgia area and surrounding counties. Uh, but if you are in a different area, still give me a call. We can still talk because I can put you in touch with one of my colleagues in the area that you are relocating to or that you live in, okay? So I hope this was helpful to you. And here is a little tip, a little nugget for my colleagues, other agents. Like I wish these are things that, you know, we would be informed about so we don't run into the situation because now I'm like the sounding board. If I talk to another agent, whether I know them or not, I'm telling them about this so that they can be aware. So my tip to you is when you meet with a seller, one of the questions that you need to ask is, have you done any loan modifications? And you may need to probe a bit because they may not remember. It may have been years ago. So ask that question. If they say yes, number one, request that they go ahead and request a loan payoff from the lender. They will have to pay for it, but tell them to go ahead and pay that $25, $40, $50, how much ever it's going to be. Pay that now. Pay it up front. Two, once you submit your contract to the closing attorney, I would also notify them and request that they request their official payoff up front. Let's not wait several weeks into this deal. And that can get, you know how complicated that can be if we're after inspection and financing to contingencies and all of that. And then this pops up. So those are my tips for you as an agent. Can I ask you a favor? If you have ever experienced this situation with a loan modification and going to sell, um, whether you're an agent, um, you sold a home or you know somebody that did, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I want to help others and get this information out there so that they aren't blindsided, okay? So please go ahead and comment. Also remember to rate and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.